so today in this tutorial session i'll discuss about all about uh, oracle views okay so in this video i'll discuss all about oracle views so what are the points i'll discuss uh, why i'll uh, i'll discuss about number one what is a view uh, number two why views number three when to use views number four how many types of views and number five how to create views okay so uh, mm, before uh, starting i just uh, want to introduce myself and want to introduce my channel about my channel who are watching new uh, this tutorial session uh, in uh, arcasoft academy my youtube channel i upload videos uh, on different oracle technologies and also unix technologies uh, oracle technologies like oracle sql or structured query language oracle pl sql programming oracle database architecture and database design Oracle uh, Oracle Forms and Reports Development that is also called Developer 2000, Oracle uh, Database Administration, Oracle Dat Performance Tuning and also Unix Cell Programming and Cell Scripting. Okay, So I already uploaded all the videos of different Oracle technologies and Unix technologies as you see in my screen. I have uploaded many videos on that and in each video I have discussed each topic in a, a, a very detail and also hands-on practical so that after watching the video you can just learn the topic well and also uh, you can make your skill okay so after watching the video if uh, uh, my video was useful for your learning or if my video have added some value to your learning just give a like and also subscribe my channel uh, and um, uh, share my uh, video link or uh, channel link to your friends colleagues and to them who you know so that they can also learn from my video and make the skill okay so this is about my channel and about me i have uh, my name is robin and i have total of 17 years of experiences work working with uh, these various oracle technologies and unix technologies all this oracle and unix technologies and currently i am a senior consultant as well as uh, technical and corporate trainer and interviewer so i am uh, providing training um, on different mncs companies uh, now when they are going to recruit some uh, peoples uh, they, uh, they are uh, they need the training so i provide training for them and also experienced people who, when they switch their projects maybe they are working with another project and maybe they switch to a project which are basically on oracle platform so they need the training so i provide that kind of training also for the employees various immenses in various immenses and also i am uh, a t um, uh, interviewer i am uh, i am pro i am taking interviews for various mnc companies uh, when they, they are recruiting various people on different oracle uh, positions like oracle developer sql developer pl sql programmer or pl sql developer or unix developer unix uh, administrator or oracle administrator or uh, oracle forms developer like this all these uh, positions for all these positions i have been taking interviews for various mnc companies so this is about me and uh, if you after, mm, uh, after after watching my video if you think that you need a separate training you just uh, contact me over my uh, personal uh, whatsapp number this is this is the person my uh, whatsapp number and my email id is there you can just contact me over my whatsapp number and email uh, on which uh, module you want the trading after uh, so i'll reply back how what uh, process you have to do after uh, completing a short, short process you can just join my online interactive training sessions so i provide training on online interactive training sessions uh, on uh, all the oracle and unix technologies as i already said so just uh, this is the about my channel and about me and after that i am just going to start my today's topic so as i said today's topic i'll discuss one by one first one i'll discuss what is a view so a view is a logical table uh, which is based on one or more tables or view okay a view does not contain any data and the tables upon which a view is based which is uh, that is called a base table so i repeat what is a view a view is a logical table uh, which is based on one or more tables or view okay so a view can be created on one view 
on another view or uh, on table also okay so a view does not contain any data and uh, the table uh, contains data as uh, as i uh, as we know uh, if uh, just you uh, new to the oracle just watch my all the videos for sql and you will be uh, um, uh, you will be getting uh, knowledge about the uh, very basic uh, understanding of oracle sql uh, that is table uh, the uni the data storage of oracle database is oracle uh, tables so you are you will get to know, know about the tables about various uh, database objects about the database concept all the uh, all the videos i have already provided in my youtube channel you just uh, start from the very very, very beginning okay so uh, mm, so i repeat a view is a logical table which is based on one or more tables or view okay and a view does not contain any data and the table upon which the video view is created is called the base table okay this is the view so why views so number two is why views so why we will go to views or why we will create the view so this is the question okay so uh, this question uh, is very much important you can uh, face this question in any interviews uh, about views so views is very important concept in oracle and a very important database object so uh, basically views uh, are uh, uh, used for various purposes like uh, a view is actually based on a query okay so whenever we create a view we create a view based on a query okay and uh, the query uh, is stored in the oracle data dictionary table okay this query will be stored in oracle data dictionary table so uh, whenever we uh, fetch uh, any uh, record from the view we will just we will just make a select query on that view and we can sh see the data okay so uh, why views because uh, we need not write uh, again and again the same sql query okay so if you uh, let's suppose uh, there is a table emp table and uh, you want to find out uh, uh, department wise uh, employee cell employee uh, total salary okay so uh, if you uh, if you uh, just uh, go through my all the videos uh, you will uh, get to know how you can um, create this uh, query uh, okay so uh, uh, in the squad schema there is a two tables uh, i just uh, connect to my sql prompt so that i, I can un um, i can discuss it uh, more detail uh, in the practical way so just connected to my sql prompt So my uh, uh, I have connected with uh, Oracle SQL. So s I just see what are the tables are present here. So I have a table. Uh, let's say uh, locations and job history. Is there any? So select star from location.
so i can see the data of job history let's see what the data is there okay i'll 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 uh, just take uh, employee table and department table uh, select star from dpt okay what is the table name the table name is departments okay so these are the department details department id department name manager id and location id okay fine so i uh, okay now there is a table location right okay fine so select star from locations right so here location id is there and here also location id okay so now uh, what i will do is i'll uh, so here uh, i want to see uh, how many okay location details is there and this is the location id okay fine department name okay and location id okay here department so here location id and the details of the location okay so yes there is a repeating of location id right so i want to know how many uh, departments there per location okay uh, from the department table i can select i can uh, just wanted to know how many departments in the same location okay so you can see their location id is repeated uh, here 1700 is repeated multiple times and also maybe others also so i wanted to know uh, okay uh, i wanted to know how many departments are there per location okay so what is the column name location id and department name okay so select location id i'll use count of department name so count is a aggregate function uh, all uh, these uh, things i have already uh, uh, made the videos uh, you just watch my uh, watch uh, the appropriate video in my youtube channel you will get to know about aggregate functions and lot and other all the things uh, okay so select location id count of what is the column name location department name okay so count of department name from departments from which table this table is departments so group by location id okay okay here i have uh, departments location id okay so location id department name location id department name from departments okay 
select location id department name okay this is the misspelled i am misspelled here okay. from see here i can see the each location how many department are there okay so each location how, how many department is there i already uh, i can see right so in 1721 departments are there if you count here 21 department falls in uh, location id uh, 700 1700 okay so uh, so each time i i will not write this query uh, instead of that so i i'll just this uh, I'll just uh, uh, discuss why views okay so why I'll view use view uh, because instead of repeating uh, SQL query I'll just create one view and I will uh, just query the view to see the result okay so I instead of writing so if I I I not uh, mm, I want this uh, result in future I have to write again this select query and i have to find out the table i have to find out the column name and tables also and i have to write this uh, query again so to see the result set right uh, to this uh, result okay so instead of that i will create a view uh, and if i query the view i'll just uh, see the result same result so i can just create a view for that create view so this is let's view name is location wise department okay so uh, this is also the uh, you can get the answer of how to create views point number five uh, point number five okay so i'll just creating the view uh, right now create view this is the view name I am create going to create this view and edge I'll just write the same query here okay maybe some okay create view this view name as select okay what is the count uh, must name this expression in the column alias okay okay this this has to be given a name because i am creating the view so view must have a column name definite uh, a particular column name right so i am using here select query with the location id and i am a, uh, i am taking a count aggregate function so count of department i have to give an alias which alias actually make the column name for the view okay so as i am i'll write as uh, dpt count okay so this will be the column name for my view location wise department okay so in the view it will uh, two columns will be created one is location id and one is department count okay so now let's see run my query so view is created fine now if i just select from view select star from i'll write the same as i uh, query the table select star from my view name what is the view name view name is this one so if i write this i'll see the same output whatever i have written by the select query okay so i need not write this select query uh, more uh, again and again to see the output so if i want to know just 
what is the location wise uh, how many department is there i just select from the view and it will show it will give me the result so that is that the purpose of using view okay so i think you have understood it okay fine now when to use views so i already uh, one reason i have explained uh, when i need not to write uh, as a, as uh, we see that we need not to write multiple times the same query if i create a view i can just query the view and i can uh, see the result set okay see the result and uh, after that also there are many use of views we can hide the uh, hide the column name also because i am not using the proper column name here i cannot use the proper column name here we can restrict the column name or restrict the uh, rows uh, uh, from the table when i create the views uh, let me show you when i create the views i can just restrict the column name or restrict the some rows okay so if i just create one view li let's say another view i can create from the locations so if uh, mm, uh, if i uh, just uh, uh, to restrict means uh, i can uh, i cannot uh, i cannot take all the column names in my views okay so i can take few of the column names uh, to create whenever i create the view and i can also select a con uh, and whenever i create the view i will give a where condition so that few of the records i can display in my result set okay so in that way i can restrict my uh, table original tables column name also uh, restrict the access of rows and columns right so that is the another purpose of very important purpose of views and also it hide the uh, implementation uh, actual implementation because i already hide uh, i can hide the actual column name or actual uh, number of rows how many rows are there we can hide from the user okay so that is that uh, three things are very much important uh, uh, when we use view okay so this is all these are the all purpose to use views so i think you have understand point number 2 and point number 3 and now why uh, how many types of views are there so there are two views one uh, two types of views one is simple view and one is updatable view okay so simple view as uh, simple view are uh, that uh, those views which are created on the single table uh, like this view is a simple view or this view is a updatable view what is a read only view it is also called the read only view and uh, this view uh, read only view only created one base table uh, and uh, there is another type of view which is called uh, complex view that is uh, created by the uh, join condition using two or more tables okay so if i uh, if i just query emp table and department table so if i want to know department wise how many employees are there so in the same way i can write the query and i can create a view using the same query with, with, with the join condition of uh, department number because department number is the relation uh, key for emp table and department table okay so like the same way i can restrict the uh, department table few records of department table and few records of i can just uh, make a where condition uh, or by whenever i creating the view and i can uh, take some uh, columns uh, few columns taking few columns from uh, employee table so in this way i can restrict the columns and uh, hiding the columns uh, or uh, hiding the rows uh, from the original table uh, uh, to uh, create the view okay and if i access the view uh, i can uh, only see the result set which uh, provided by the uh, query okay join query or um, if i want to create Uh, complex view we have to use the join query uh, that is created on multiple tables as i as i see as i already told that if i 
take two tables employee and department and department wise how many employees are there i will write the same query like this and just i have to make one join condition i have to give a join condition department table dot dptnoe equal to emp dot empno right so i can create the same way uh, the view and this is the uh, this is the uh, how many types of views I already discussed uh, one is simple view and one is complex view uh, so simple view is created on single base table and complex view is created on uh, more than one table using join condition okay so and how many types of uh, how to create view I will already seen right so I think all these points are uh, cleared uh, I have discussed uh, in each of the points in detail uh, with the hands-on I think you have understood it uh, well and if you have any doubt you just ask any question uh, in the comment section I'll uh, reply back and after watching the video if you just like the video you just uh, give a like and subscribe my channel so that you can uh, you can just inform uh, about my next video when I will upload the video and also share my video with your friends colleagues and uh, you know uh, to whom you know uh, so that they can also watch my videos and uh, make the skill okay so that's all for this today's tutorial session and thank you for watching my video and hope to see you in my next video thank you uh, bye